Greetings, student organization treasurers. I'm Dan Lenhart from the Center for Campus Engagement at Cleveland State University, here with another how-to video and using Vikes Connect as a treasurer. Once you have logged in to Vikes Connect, you should navigate up to near where your profile is and you'll see something called admin dashboard. You're gonna click on that and that will take you to the tools within Vikes Connect. The tool that you're specifically gonna use is the finance tool located right here on the left-hand side. And you're gonna click on that. And once you come into this finance tool, you'll see Student Government Association with a little plus sign next to it. Click that and you should see your, the name of your organization. Now, if you are a law school organization, instead of student government, you're going to see student bar association. So who you get funding for will be the top level budget within your for your organization. Sport clubs will see sport club council with a little plus sign, and then you should be able to find your organization underneath it. So in this instance, this organization here will get funding from student government association. You'll also notice a little plus sign next to the organization's name. We're gonna click on that and that'll show you more details of your agency account plus your account number and your SGA funding. The way we have this built is depending on what you're asking for from student government or student bar, depending on your funding, um, we have it broken down into different, what I like to call like buckets. So for example, if you're asking for money uh, for event funding, it should show up in this event funding bucket. Uh, if you had asked for money for travel and were approved, it would show up here, other funding here, and then the one time 150 here. Okay, so that'll give you a quick snapshot of what's going on with your accounts, how much you have available, how much was allocated. Allocated is only used when you ask for money. You'll never see allocated dollar figure in your agency account. That's all money that you raise through dues, uh, fundraisers or anything that like that, and you make it deposit into your account. Okay, so that's the basic overview. To, to do things, this create button will be what you will use. And you'll notice here, you can create a couple of things. You can create an allocation, which is asking for money. You can create a deposit. So if you've had a, uh, uh, you've collected dues, let's say, or you've done a fundraiser and you want to deposit that money, you use this tool. You don't need to use transfer. What you are going to mainly use is this expenditure choice. Expenditure, when you create an expenditure, that's spending money. Whether you're reimbursing somebody, paying for something, regardless, anytime you're spending money, um, you're going to create an expenditure. You're going to give your expenditure a title. So I gave you a couple examples, food for meetings, supplies for an event, whatever. So maybe we just say supplies here, supplies for... You can give it a description. There is a further question about descriptions below that you will do. Um, then you select your organization, find your organization by doing the search, selecting it. Are you purchasing more than one item? Yes or no. And this is, this will say no. If you were saying yes, then you'll notice this instructions show up. And this is instructions of what you're supposed to do if you're making more than one purchase. Because in this system, you can make more than one purchase. You'll notice here, I could say supplies. Let's say I wanted a place for supplies and for um, promotional items. And they were both going to come out of my agency account. You could select both at the same time. You'll notice, depending on what category you select, the item will show up and you'll have to answer more questions. So in this sample, I said I wanted to pay for clothing promotional items, clothing and promotional items, and all the policies and procedures about purchasing promotional items are located right within the form. So you notice we need to, you're supposed to use one of the vendors that the university has approved, although if you don't, 
there's more information. So if I was to say, no, I'm not, you'll notice here all the documentation that is needed and it's all explained to you, okay? You also notice we wanted supplies. And so here's the supplies area, okay? And all the information that we need for you to submit this, okay? If you were to select, say for example, the category of payment for a photographer. This is event services, and this shows up. So again, it will depend on what you're spending your money for. If you're reimbursing somebody, let's say somebody bought pizza for your organization, you could select reimbursement for food, and this gives you all the documentation that we need to reimburse the individual. So you would submit all that, okay? So in our original example, I selected supplies, so I'm going to select supplies. I'll say I'm getting it from Amazon. Um, I'm just going to fill some things out when you need. Let's see there. And then you would upload your quote. And here I'm just going to grab something off of my desktop just to grab it. Now, this expenditure items, this is very important because this section of when you create an expenditure, this is where you tell how much and which budget to take the money out of. So in this, we're going to say it's supplies. Again, this is supplies for event. Which budget are we taking it out of? And you'll notice your organization will show up. And let's say in this example, we're not going to use the agency account, but instead we're going to use, say, event funding, because this is going to be event. This will tell you how much you have available. If you've spent any of the $1,500 you were given, it'll be lower. Let's say here we're going to pay put $500, and then it'll give you a total. Now, if you were spending items, let's say you wanted supplies for an event, and you wanted food for an event. This little add button, you would click that, come down here and fill out another one. Now, this one would be for food, food for event. You take it out of your budget and out of your event funding budget, how much it's going to be. And now you see it'll grand total everything, the two requests. Now, be aware, if you were to submit something like this, with just payment, but you added these two things, your request will be denied because you didn't fill it out properly. So if you're going to put in an expenditure request for more than one item, you have to select all the items up here at the very top. So in this, you would also have to select your payment for food and then fill all the food information out. Let's say it's going to be, let's going to say it's going to be over 300, you got to use catering. That's the rules. You would go on catering, get the place your order, you get a quote, and then you would save that and upload that here. Okay. So that's essentially how you submit a spending request. It's called an expenditure. You're creating an expenditure. When you have it all done, you click submit for approval. Your advisor will be notified. They will approve it. And then our budget officer will be notified and complete your request. If you do have any questions about finances, you can contact our budget officer at studentorgfinance at csuohio.edu. If you have any further questions or need help, please feel free to contact me, Dan Lenhart, at d.lenhart at csuohio.edu. Thanks for watching.